Unidentified Pelican dropship, this is Captain Bears of the UNSC Tartarus, responding to your distress signal. Come in, over. Unidentified Pelican, please respond. Eh, uh, comms are acting kind of funny. Maybe they can't hear us? Or maybe they Why fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Pelican, can you just give us a sign that you're reading us? Oh, hey! She lives! Pelican, are you able to make your way to our starboard docking bay? We'll be able to assist you from there. Well, there you go. Stasny, meet up with Blanton and Kilgore in docking. Let's see what this is all about. Wait, how the hell you know that meant yes? What if two flashes means yes, and one flash means stay away? Alien zombies! You were saying? <laughs> Fine. This thing sucks out here anyway. And we should all prepare ourselves for whatever may come next. Hey, Stasny, why are we stopping? Let me guess, you're letting us go? <laughs> Quiet down. I'm just picking up what I hope are hitchhiked material. In your dreams, asshole. <laughs> Come on, Stas, hurry up. It's just weird seeing a military bird out here on our own like this, you know? Ooh, maybe it's some top secret covert ops. Some hush hush, you never saw us type of shit. Yeah, and if we're lucky, they'll kill you to keep this quiet. Hey, we got a deadline to meet, all right? Ready up. Pelican crew, you may now open your bay door and slowly exit the vehicle. in the air. Yes, sir. It's just one guy? <laughs> Won't find anyone else on this ship. Come on out. Take it slow. You all right? Yeah. I'm just glad you found me. This guy don't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's my fucking hero! Oh, come on, you tell me every single one of you wouldn't have done the same thing. I mean, come on, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a story, son, but it's time we got you fixed up and went on our way. Lord knows we've wasted enough of the UNSC's time. Well, hey, are you hourly? <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about! Seriously, though, this ship looks like a fucking antique. Hire-ups couldn't spare the extra cash to fix her up? Yeah, right. Military prison transport isn't very high on their budgetary priorities. No use wasting money on cryo for lawbreakers. So they threw together a skeleton crew to make sure the cargo just makes it over alive. Yeesh. Kinda scary. Now, nothing these men can't handle. Yeah, we got guns in the purge if things get bad, but real killer out here is fucking boredom. Well, what about all the disappearances all over the news? Ships never making it to port? I mean, what do you do if you're attacked? Yeah, I doubt anybody's coming for our cargo. No, it ain't scavengers. I think it's them fucking aliens, man. Not this again. I'm sure they say we're at peace. But you know them squid heads have put a laser through our heads faster than grease lightning if we gave them the chance. Hey, that's intolerant. You're intolerant. Quiet. Truth be told, no one gives a rat's ass about the people on this ship. Anybody out there really wanted them? They could have them. <laughs> All right. I'll take them. <laughs> what, uh, what you mean? I mean I'm going to kill you and take your prisoners. Huh? Come on, come on! Uh oh, 
survivors. Catching there! Head ease, gentlemen. <laughs> Calm down, Stastny. I'm not gonna kill you. you you're not? No. He is. Oh, son of a bitch. Sector 1, clear. Sector 2, clear. <laughs> Sector 3, clear. Quiet. As of this moment, we are the new crew of this ship. Well, who the hell are you? Why don't you let the people person handle this, okay? Listen up. We're looking for soldiers who aren't afraid of killing lots of people for lots of money. We don't care who you are, and we don't care what you've done. Because quite frankly, we've probably done a hell of a lot worse. All we want are men who can follow orders and hold their own on the battlefield. We're going to war, folks. Now our enemies are weak, but there's a lot of them. They got a couple of badass freelancer agents on their side. But if you survive, you'll be rich enough to live out the rest of your lives as free men. Now, if this totally awesome idea doesn't sound like your kind of job, we'll let you off the ship. But if you're ready to fight for your freedom, then please. Firmly grasp the bars of your cell in a sign of solidarity. Well, all right then. Congratulations. You're hired. Before you say anything, yes, I know they triggered the alarm, and yes, I did have more fun because of it. Thank you for asking. These prisoners lack our men's discipline. Control wants to even the numbers. You got a better idea? Locus. Felix. We've got a prisoner who doesn't really look up to par. Smartass put two and two together and tied his bed sheets around his waist before the purge. Huh. Quick thinking. He has to speak with you. Says he has something you need. Bring him in. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aiden Price. Okay, well, Price, here's the deal. We're looking for soldiers, not whatever the hell you're supposed to be. You say you have something we want? No, I have something you need. The freelancers you mentioned. Am I correct in assuming they are agents Carolina and Washington? How would you know that? I know everything there is to know about my agents. As the former counselor of Project Freelancer, I helped to mold them. Psychiatric analyses, medical histories, they're all housed right here. And I can give them to you. <laughs> Aid to cut your lifeline short, Counselor, but we've already got access to all the Freelancer's confiscated records. If you're referring to the documents recovered by the UNSC, you should know that is merely the tip of the iceberg. I think you're bluffing. Did you know Agent Washington refuses artificial intelligence access to his neural implants? Or that Agent Carolina is 57% more likely to neglect her teammates when presented with a competitive scenario? No? Then I also doubt you realize there is another inmate aboard this ship that shares a history with the freelancers. One who would undoubtedly prove useful to you if you were properly guided. Thinker and quick talker. <laughs> We're gonna get along great. 
The second inmate. Take us to him. Of course. Beside you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. What makes you so sure you drive up the stock in car industries? Now, now. That's enough questions for today. Remember, all good things must come to an end. Something really, really bad is going to happen. Only every single fucking time I have to talk to you. Lopez, I don't speak Spanish. I have never spoken Spanish. Yeah, get with the times and just assimilate. Fresco, estoy cortando los frenos de su próximo warthog. See you, dickheads. Do you really think my stripes are awful? Washington, sir? Explain to me how, in light of your recent promotion, you've somehow managed to become worse at target practice. Uh, because the newly added pressure of my rank makes me second guess my actions more frequently in hopes I will doubt my fellow peers. Well, I don't! Oh. Um, I mean, that's understandable, Lieutenant. Also, I've been trying to make a smiley face for like nine minutes. Nailed it. Wash! <sighs> now what? Where's Kimball? Oh, Captain Griff. How nice of you to join us. We missed you at practice this morning. Yeah, that's probably because I wasn't there. So you weren't. 
which is why everyone is going to give me three laps around the training facility. Get oh. yes, oh. there. Get moving. You're punishing them? Remedial training. Disciplining a group for the actions of a single soldier leads to social pressures that typically result in the hasty correction of undesirable behavior. Classic military strategy. Thanks a lot, fuckface! So, are you ready to begin today's training? Uh, no. All right then. Let's make it four laps! Yes, sir! Uh, I'm gonna have an asthma attack! How you feeling now? I feel like this military's fucking weird. Five laps! Yes, sir! Uh, Man, this is the best punishment ever. What do you need Kimball for anyway? She's in the middle of a meeting with Doyle. So she's in the war room? I... Wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, you're not going anywhere until... Sorry, dude. Gotta go. Uh, just punish the rebels some more. I'm sure I'll learn my lesson. God damn it. Whew. Well, we sure showed him. I don't care if your men prefer it. The fact of the matter is we are going to run out of ammunition faster. But you're not taking the statistical advantage into account. Yes, the standard issue assault rifle has a fire rate of 15 rounds per second, but if those rounds are being fired at the enemy, then that means we have 15 chances to kill the enemy every time we pull the trigger. Without our mercenaries bringing in supplies, we need to make every bullet count. Are you Doubting my soldier's skill on the battlefield? I am doubting so much more than that. <sighs> Miss Kimball, it has been over a month since we began this truce, and there is yet to be a single day where you have not tested its strength. Well, that's probably because I don't like you. Hey! We've got a problem! Is it Tan with a blue visor? Now, I'm what most people would probably consider a hero. Like, a. Uh firefighter, or the guy that invented the microwave, or, uh, the Oreo dude. Okay. So what I want to know is why a hero, like myself, is not allowed to have second helpings in the mess hall! Uh, um, because we're low on food. Oh, so you have the common sense to ration our meals, but not our ammo. That is hardly relevant. Hardly relevant? Hey! I know you guys are having a hard time playing nice, but there are bigger things at stake right now. Get out. Like steak, for instance. Get. Out. We need bigger ones. Griff! Leave! Now! So, are we just gonna put a pin in this, or...? Oh my god, will someone just put him on dish duty for the rest of the day? What? Come on, sir. Let's go. This is some bullshit! Can we just talk about something else for a minute? Well, the reason I originally came to speak with you was to inform you of the status of our men's most recent assault. Wait, they radioed in? What happened? Well... What? Another one bites the dust. Oh, yeah! Uh -huh. Another one gone. Word. Another one gone. Uh -huh. Another one bites the dust. Oh, uh, yeah! Ooh, we kicked your ass, bitch! Get down with your bad self. All right. That's enough. We just took their base. No need for cruel and unusual punishment. Sure. I can drop some sick beats on them. You know, bust some rhymes. Make it old school. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes, please don't. Huh. Square. Come on. Let's get this place sorted out. Intel says they were keeping some freelancer equipment here. Right, Sarge. Why don't you go check on the feds? Tucker, are you down to handle the rebels? Yeah, yeah. In all the years we spent in the canyon, when the hell did he learn to dance? I've got bigger questions on my mind right now. Yeah? Like what? Like what else was Karin studying out here? What's up, Forever Alone? So, uh, you want to do something with your life, or you just want to sit around on your ass all day like a loser? Yeah, me too. So, uh, just subscribe and keep watching YouTube. It's way easier. Agent Carolina, we've retrieved what appears to be a domed energy shield from within the complex. The bubble shield? Are you sure? Uh... What's it do? <laughs> yeah, we're pretty sure. That's great. We can hook it up and start running some tests in a few hours. Hey, whoa, whoa, slow down. What about the giant floating tower in the sky? Did you forget about that crazy bullshit? What? 
the temple? That the aliens made? I'm sorry, what? You're familiar with that structure. I, I mean, I think most of us are, yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there. You're telling me that people on this planet are just used to seeing flying space shit like that? Pretty much. Hey, Randy! You ever seen one of those alien towers before? Oh, yeah! My dad took me to one when I was a kid. They're nice, right? Oh, yeah! They had funnel cake right outside, too! Oh, I remember that! <laughs> yeah. Good times. Oh, man. So, yeah. I mean, pretty common. How is this not a bigger deal? Well, come on, man. I mean, they've been around forever, and they don't really do anything. It's a giant flying tower! And you're a dead guy that's also somehow an AI, okay? That shit's weird, too, but you don't hear me going on about it. Enough. Just secure the freelancer equipment. Epsilon and I will be by in a few minutes. <sighs> yes, ma'am. But I don't care what these guys say. Those towers aren't some fucking tourist trap. They're important. Remember the tractor beams at Crash Site Alpha? Karan is studying these things and making them do shit. That's bad. I get it. So, who would you say is our resident expert on alien technology? Conducting research in the field? Oh, I knew today was going to be a good day. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Gray. Oh, I can't tell you how nice it is to get out of the office and away from all the complaining. My leg hurts. I need blood. But I don't want to have a robot arm. Right. Well, the reason we called you here is to, to investigate the alien temple Karan's been sitting. Yes, dear, you told me on the radio. Not surprising, really, emerged from the ground shortly after you and a sea pulled out. Never did anything, sadly, but that doesn't mean that they won't. Thankfully, I spent time brushing up on their history in between college internships. Are you so happy we're such close friends? I am... so thankful. Oh, great. The mad scientist finally showed up. Hey! What's the status on that robot arm I ordered? Still in the trial stages, Colonel. Volunteers are proving hard to come by. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah, robot parties aren't really all they're cracked up to be. Trust me. Why don't you go take a look at Karin's research? Epsilon and I have a few armor upgrades to take care of. Don't mind if I do! Ah, I hate that. At least you don't get headaches. Griff! Simmons! You're late! <sighs> you were saying? What took you guys? It's instant teleportation. Well, we had to make sure Lopez and Dona could handle things while we were gone. You hand out weapons and ammo. How hard can it be? Bienvenido a la Amaria. Como podemos ayudarle? Lopez says you're two days late on your weapon rental. ¿Por qué insistos un traducir para mí cuando usted podría estar hablando? Whoa, no need to call the man a turkey baster, Lopez. Everyone makes mistakes. Forgive him. It's his fiery Latin temper. Yeah, harder than you think. So... You got the goods? You're darn right we do! Weapons! Ammo! Laser beams! You name it! It's Christmas come early! Unless you're looking at it from the pirate's point of view! In which case, it's kind of the opposite! Hanukkah? Excellent work, sir. Another enemy outpost taken down. I just wish I could have been there to see you on the battlefield. Why don't you guys come with us on the next mission? Whoa, okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Better start packing this stuff up. Well, that's enough back-breaking labor for one day. Ow! I made a discovery! Damn, and I thought I was fast. What? I mean, uh, what? Nothing. Ma'am, give me back the microphone! Hold on! All freelancer-related people get your butts in here! Ma'am, please, calm down! You have no appreciation for my friends! That was fast. Look, it's completely normal, okay? Wait, what? Quiet! <clears throat> Thank you. Now say what you want about our enemies. They suck! They're dirtbags! Total dicks! Yeah, not an invitation to talk, guys. But you can't discount their ambition. Or intelligence, for that matter. There's a reason Chairman Hargrove got to where he is now. This compound isn't one of Karan's typical munitions factories or radio jammers. They're not disassembling alien artifacts here. They're trying to turn them back on. And that tower you saw seems to be their primary target. Oh, see? Who called that? Me. So, what does it do? That's exactly what I intend to find out! Now, who's down for a field trip? Uh, what? Well, if I'm going to take a look at this tower, I'll require an escort. How about you, Simmons? You've always seemed intelligent. Oh, thank you. Well, compared to your friends. What? Well, why did you feel the need to add that? No way! This shit's got blue team problems written all over it. Oh, come on, man! Hey, you're the one that grabs swords and fucks aliens, alright? So don't come crying to me. Epsilon and I should stay behind in case Karin launches a counterattack. Yeah, and I can try to get through some of this data while you're out. <laughs> well, don't you worry about it, little lady. Me and Aquaman over here can handle whatever diabolical schemes 
those no-cut space pirates may be preparing for us at this very moment. Oh, no. You'll mainly just be carrying my survey equipment to the site. Ah, uh, right. Then we'll carry that stuff. We'll carry the shit out of that stuff. Mm, fine. Let's just get this over with. Actually, a four-man team would be ideal. You wouldn't happen to know of anyone else you could spare to help us, would you? Oh, I can think of someone. Please don't. Beatrice! on the inside. Don't forget to pack his lunch. Also, he needs to take that pill twice a day. Greetings, fellow web surfer. Be sure to subscribe to our channel before you go. It'll be just like we're friends. Not that I need friends. <laughs> Please don't go. Deserted. I've heard that one before. It's likely any remaining crowd personnel would have retreated after you took the research complex. Or maybe they're at lunch. I'm hungry. Well, how do we know for sure? Hey, anybody? Still here? Caboose! What? Uh, oh, sorry! I'm sorry. You big blue idiot. You'll give away our position. If you're here, just ignore that last bit! Good save, Sarge. Caboose, if you could please, have Freckles run a thermal scan of the area. Oh, uh, yes. Um, hey, Freckles? Yes, Captain Caboose. Oh, yes, uh, Freckles, uh, yeah, yeah, could you go ahead and give me a thermal sweater to the base thing? Affirmative. Heat scanners and Google Translate. Nice. If you put the brain of a killing machine into an assault rifle, you don't cut corners. Do you give it control over the safety? Affirmative. Also, I heard that. Whoa. Don't worry. My test determined that it was actually safer to give Freckles full control of the rifle rather than Caboose. How'd you test that? I gave Caboose the rifle for about five seconds. Makes sense. What a busy day at the hospital that turned out to be. So what happens when you pull the trigger? It releases confetti and makes a fun party sound. Tucker did it. Yep, the place is definitely deserted. We already knew that. Yeah, but I just wanted to make extra sure. You know, for extra safety. Oh, look, you finished moving all of Gray's tools without me. Man, bummer. You wouldn't happen to be related to the Griff family, would you? I mean, I had relations with his sister. Bow chicka bow wow. Aww. I don't get it. Right, let's begin. <clears throat> this is the audio recording of Dr. Emily Gray, number 05519. Upon arriving at the excavation site, I made several observations. One, there's a large alien structure protruding from the ground and extending into the sky. Two, it's nice and sunny out today, and I love it. And log. Ladies and gentlemen, the smartest person on the entire planet. I know. It's really intimidating. Shut up. So, what's up, Doc? Well, that's Ben. Who here speaks alien? Church taught me a swear word. I definitely know Spaniel. I, I only know wingdings. What, like the font? It's a very misunderstood language. Okay, I'm just going to take all of that as a no, so why don't you all keep watch while I investigate the ruins? Oh, fine. Roger right that. Yes, square plate, diamond stone plate, happy face. Now then, let's see what you're hiding. We're back! Finally! I don't know what has gotten into Lopez today. Well, have fun sorting through all the junk. I got a date with some crackers and a can of cheese whiz. Really, Griff? Nah, I'll probably skip the crackers. What the? Oh, hey, Griff. Uh, hello? Can't help but notice you haven't been by the training room yet. Is Wash still making- Yep. And all of them are real tired of running laps? Yeah, I gotta go. Take him! Take him now! <laughs> Board. 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 Captain, 
Tucker, why don't you patrol somewhere else? No way! I want to be here for whenever you find out how to turn this thing on. Why? Uh, because it's probably going to look awesome as shit. Look like holograms and lasers in the sky. I want a front row seat for that. You know, I bet you'd have just as good of a view if you joined your friends over at the base. Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder... Wonder what? Ah! Oh, sorry. Kind of spaced out. Is that George? <laughs> nope. Rock. Pass. Oh, well, then perhaps you could find something more productive to do with your time. Like what? I don't know. Practice aiming or push-ups or whatever it is you soldiers do. <laughs> Practice aiming. <laughs> Nobody does that. Freeze! Reach for the sky, mercenary scum! Donut, put that down. It's not a toy. Wait, what is that? I don't know. It was in the pile of laser weapons you and Griff brought back. Looks like an old plasma rifle. Huh. Guess it got shipped by mistake. So does that mean I can keep it? Well, Kimball did say all the alien stuff was broken, but I still can't help but feel you're setting a bad example for the children. Children? Oh, right, right. Caboose went with Sarge. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Go nuts. Yes! Agent Double O Donut is back in action! <coughs> um, so yeah, can I get my rifle now? I'm on the case! I bet the feds never had to put up with this. Oh, ah. oh, oh what? You talking to me? Huh. You talking to me, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I bet the rebels never had to put up with this. Oh, so you want a rematch, huh? Well, if you insist. Huh? Uh, hey, Doc? Transcribing! Please don't interrupt! Weapon, weapon, why does it all say weapon? Oh, I think I found something! Not now, please! I may have just made a breakthrough! What is that word? Okay, yeah, but I really think you want to see this. Is it... key? It is some serious, weird, alien shit! What did you do? I... have no idea. Or a cowboy. Ah, 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 what the fuck? Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Oh no. What is happening? Ah, ah, help. No, as to Olympiesa. What in the heck just happened? Where'd all those guns come from? Did you see that? Of course we did! Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the view wasn't that great, but, uh, yeah, we got the gist of it. Told you! Omega. Uh, what? It's alien. No shit! Omega. Well? Say something! Uh, what's up?
He's been calling himself Shark Face. What, is he a Batman villain? His physical appearance, combined with a deep-seated sense of contrarianism, seems Oh my god, shut up, I don't care. Can we use him? If we continue our sessions, absolutely. Good. Shark Face, Locust, whatever happened to normal fucking names? I mean, am I crazy? Well... Don't psychoanalyze me. What was that? Locus, Felix. We've got a problem. Report. Our teleporters malfunctioned. They just detonated. How many? Well, um... All of them. Emily! Please, slow down. Slow down? General, the alien weapons, the vehicles, all of the artifacts we found over the years, they weren't broken, they were just deactivated! And Tucker's sword made them work! For all of two seconds. How is that possible? Well, it's kind of like a sword and a key. What does that even mean? Yeah, I was part of this great prophecy thing because I took a sword key from a tower and then an alien took me on a quest to get a ship, but in the end it all kind of turned out to be an excuse to get me knocked up and have an alien baby. You've reproduced. Fuck yeah, Junior is awesome. Check him out in this fifth grade basketball team. Oh, they grow up so fast. Well, that's the last thing I thought I'd see today. Forever. Yeah, I know. Who carries around actual photographs anymore? All right, focus. Let's go over what we know. Well, whatever Tucker did caused all of our teleportation grenades to explode, fried Karan's weapons, and almost got me killed. Good going, asshole. Actually, this could be perfect. Well, maybe if Simmons had been replaced with Griff, instead of almost killed, he was- Stop. The alien weapons may have only been active for a few seconds, but Karin's hybrid tech is still inoperable. Whatever pieces they took from the alien technology and crammed into their own, likely short-circuited the equipment when it tried to come back online. Which means the space pirates ain't got their fancy lasers no more. Yeah, but neither do we. That doesn't matter. Speak for yourself. That's two badass alien weapons I've lost now. Karan has always had the technological advantage over us. The only reason we've managed to win these past few weeks is because we have them outnumbered. And yet, we still lose troops with every victory. True, but now we have them outnumbered and outgunned. Without their toys, they've got nothing more than standard UNSC weaponry. It's an even playing field. You know, I've been working with weapons a lot lately, so I'd just like to point out that the standard UNSC weaponry can still put a fucking hole in your skull. We've also yet to encounter Locus or Felix since they left. We'll deal with them when the time comes. Right, Carolina? Right. Of course. What are you thinking, Kimmel? Yes, we have been doing well these past few weeks, but we still can't make contact with the UNSC, and we have no idea how many more jammers Karin installed on Chorus. For all we know, they could have some on the moon. I'm not sure how much longer these small victories will be able to keep our heads above water. So maybe it's time we aim higher. The tractor beams at Crash Site Alpha are the only things keeping us from leaving the planet. You can't possibly be suggesting that if we... If we take them down, we can send a ship to bring help. The mercs have to know that. Those towers are probably the most heavily defended targets on the planet. Especially now. Yes, precisely! We lose people with every fight. You said so yourself. If we don't make a move now, while they're weak, we're going to keep losing people until there is no one left. Oh, hold up. What about the map? After that big boys turned off the tower, it showed us that map and some coordinates. Tucker's right. Could be buried treasure. Or a stockpile of alien weapons that melt your face off. Or turn you to stone. Or turn stones into people. They have a point. Taking crash site Alpha is possible, but not without heavy losses. Those coordinates could lead us to something that might save lives. Uh, yeah, could? One tower took out all of Karan's weapons. There's no telling what another one could do. I mean, hell! If it gives us a way to turn the other tower back on, we can add badass alien lasers to the armory! Why else are we in this war? And I get to add another weapon category to the armory spreadsheet! Nerd. Organizing data's not nerdy, it's efficient. Come on, Church is a computer, he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, that nerd doesn't speak for me. Hey, that reminds me. If we're here, who's running the armory? Hmm, the sign says open, but no one's here. I'll give it two more hours. We don't have time to investigate. For all we know, Karin's already working on a new batch of rifle replacements. Don't have time. We can just fly right over and check it out. We already know Locus and Felix have scouts monitoring our activity whenever possible. If we send a ship out to the middle of nowhere, they'll notice and they'll follow. If those coordinates do lead to something, we can't afford it falling into Karin's hands. We'd need to send a small team on foot. And that will take time that we don't have. <sighs> 
But what if Karan's already there? What if they've been sitting on this shit for years, and we just turned it on? We gotta find out what's out there, even if it's just to make sure the mercs don't use it against us. Is it possible to divide and conquer? Yeah, Carolina could take an away team out to the coordinates, and Kimball could lead the charge against Alpha. Why does Kimball get to lead the charge? Are you volunteering? Well, I... <sighs> Unfortunately, we'll need someone to stay behind and guard the capital, and I know the city better than anyone. Nice bail. Then it sounds like Kimball's our leader. The Feds won't take orders from me. They will if their lives are on the line. I've been training them. Both sides have come a long way, and we'll need all hands on deck if we want to pull this off. Well, then you can count me and my boys in! Ooh, uh, we need to work at the armory, actually. Yeah, really sorry, guys. Yeah, wish we could help. Agradable, fianza. Well, if you really want to go, Lopez and I can handle the armory. Excellent suggestion, Donut. Simmons, looks like you're gonna get to see your fearless colonel on the battlefield after all. <laughs> I wish I could look through your eyes and see me. Yay. I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Right, then the rest of us can act as the away team. Tucker brings a sword. Gray brings the brains. And I bring the comic relief. I was gonna say the rifle with auto-targeting software. We'll hop on the next Pelican to Harmonia and prep to head out. And if we play this right, the merch won't even know what hit him. We had the scientists check everything. Binary rifle suppressors. They're all dead. Even the ones on the ship. Then send them up here. We have another job for them. You got it, boss. Sir. We just received a communications request from Control. What should I tell him? Tell him we'll call right back. About. The Federal Army follows a very strict regiment when it comes to requesting weapons and vehicles. Well, this isn't the Federal Army. Tell me about it. Listen, you little... You two. Why isn't this warthog over with the rest of the vehicles? Oh, Agent Washington! We will get right on that, sir. Good. Now, is there anything you feel like you should say to General Kimball? Bitch. Hey! Remind me to put those two on the front line. Don't you start to. I told you they won't listen. They're just a bunch of mindless drones that do whatever Doyle tells them to do. And you're the leader of the cave-dwelling savages that blow things up to get what they want. You know that's not true. Well, you haven't done anything to prove them wrong yet, have you? Agent Washington, I'd appreciate it if you didn't lecture me on how to make friends with the enemy. The enemy? You know what I mean. We're all on the same side here, Kimball. Have some faith. If you start believing in them, maybe they'll start believing in you. Yeah. Maybe. Excuse me, vehicle coming through. Please tell me that wasn't Jensen. God damn it! Sorry! How? How was that possible? You were going like five miles an hour! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Just bad luck, I guess. Yeah, uh, just so you know, I'm fine. Man. This where we park in the cars? Salon. Hey, Church. Huh? What? What? I said, is this where we're parking? Oh, yeah, this is it. Sweet! We're here? Nah, it's just pit stop. We need to refuel the jeeps while we have some cover. There should be some gas cans in the back. You told me those were lemonade cans. What? When? The first week we met? <laughs> oh. Caboose, have you been drinking? Made the first month was pretty rough, but, you know, I didn't want you guys to think you made bad lemonade. Well, that explains the fuck out of your birthday candles. Yeah, I wish I was a dragon. It was the best birthday ever. Hey, Epsilon. What's up, C? Wanna run some more equipment training? What, right now? Might as well while we're stopped. It's good knowing the bubble shield works, but I still feel like my deployment time could be better. Carolina, you're fine. Just relax, all right? But, hey, hey, Carolina, come on. 
You know how you used to be, okay? You start pushing yourself too far, you're gonna get hurt. And the last thing we need right now is another stupid injury. So come on, take it easy. Loosen up. Loosen up. Right. Hey, are you doing okay? Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, badass, cool. Did you fill up our car too? Yeah, I gave it to both of them. Bow, bow chicka. Bow. What? That's the joke, right? Did she just say my thing? Um, no, uh, Tucker, that hey, chicka bump bump. Awkward. You said to loosen up. It's a little too loose. Just tighten that back up a little bit. I feel violated. I can't stand this prick. He's our employer. Still a prick. Felix. Whatever, let's just get this over with. Control, this is Chorus, transmitting on a secure feed. Over. Lucas and Felix. I was beginning to wonder if you were purposefully neglecting my transmissions. What, neglect you? Jeremy, please. Never in a million years. We're just kind of in the middle of something. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Felix. I know exactly how frustrating it is to be interrupted. Just this morning I met with a client who was very interested in our new suppressor submachine gun until the bloody thing blew up in his hands! Gosh, you know, we are so sorry to hear that, sir. But it kind of sounds like you should take it up with your science team. Oh, I did. In fact, I spoke with a member stationed with you on Chorus. They seem to believe that the colonists and their heroes are responsible for the incident. And last I checked, you are responsible for them. We're taking care of the situation. Are you? When I hired you, I was promised perfection. I was told that you were the best. Everything we had on your backgrounds and previous missions told me you were the right choice. But here we are. Sir... Is it lack of resources? Are the ships I've redirected to your front door not helpful? What about the armor enhancements? Stopping bullets in their tracks? Vanishing into thin air? Are these gifts not good enough for you? It's complicated. No, it isn't. In fact, it's remarkably simple. Everything I've built, everything I've worked towards, rests upon a strong foundation. An intricate web of partners, politicians and clients, each supporting one another. And right now, your thread is straining to support the rest. I think I know what the problem is. I think it's your motivation. Clearly, your monetary compensation isn't enough. So, I'd like to try something different. Do this? Yes, Chairman. Do you have any idea what this is? The armor of Freelancer Agent Maine. The meta. Not anymore. This is the future of modern warfare. Active camouflage, enhanced strength, light shields. Dr. Church paired each of his freelancers with specialized equipment, but with our modifications. This suit contains all of them. I thought that wasn't possible. Not initially. The armor enhancements had to be removed and studied in secret so that we could create the modified versions you both carry now. The variations reduced power consumption significantly, solving a large portion of the puzzle. But it's still not ready. No, not yet. Individually, our new equipment can be activated without AI assistance. But tests have shown that running multiple enhancements proves to be far more taxing on the mind than we anticipated. So what? You want us to capture the Epsilon AI? Recovering freelancer equipment is always a priority, Felix. But the Epsilon unit is far too old to run this suit properly. I'm doing my best to secure an AI through legitimate means, but even with my political influence, the acts of the late Dr. Church have made AI acquisition an extremely difficult process. But it's only a matter of time. Which brings me back to my point. If the two of you can successfully complete your mission before this suit is ready, Caron Industries is willing to lend you the completed model for your own use. As a form of field testing. Oh, become a one-man walking weapon? I like the sound of that. 
However, if you fail to eliminate the remaining stragglers on Chorus, then we will find another candidate to test the suit. And their first task will be finishing what you started, as well as tying up any loose ends. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Good. What'd I tell you? Looking prick. Hey, let's go find out what that map led us to. Right. connected to the rest of the temples on the planet. That's our best guess, at least. But this energy source at the center is something else. Can it be weaponized? No, 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 no. The, the energy here is reminiscent of the teleportation devices we studied to make the cubes. We think it's a gateway. To where? Well, that is the question of the day now, isn't it? So, anyone care to take the first step? I would not advise that. We've been doing our best to decipher the text inscribed on the temple walls. It's all very biblical in tone, lots of symbolism, but it does seem this gateway has some, well, rules. Rules? The text is very specific. Only a true warrior may enter, a being of great strength and mental clarity. And what would happen to a man who failed to meet these requirements? We don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Guess we'll find out. Are you finished? Almost. But you can't rush art. Counselor. Do you find working with tools to be therapeutic? Therapeutic? Relaxing. Does it help to calm? I know what therapeutic means. And no, not really. Let's change the subject. I trust you've reviewed the reports on Agents Washington and Carolina. Yep. Excellent. Did you have any questions? No. Good. Then why don't we go over the mission briefing again? The Marks want the freelancers dead, so they got me to do it. Briefing over. There's no need for hostility. I beg to differ. See, those super soldier freaks dropped a building on me. They left me for dead. And then they killed my friends. They took away the only family I ever had. While I was in physical fucking therapy, there is plenty of need for hostility here, counselor. Then perhaps you should do your best to channel that energy. <laughs> you know, I do have a question. How did you end up on a ship full of killers? You don't look like a criminal to me. Let's not get off topic. I wanna know. I believed in the wrong people. And by the time I realized it, the damage was already done. And what would you do if those people were here now? Would you kill them? If it meant getting my life back, I would. <laughs> Well then. I guess you belong here after all. Oh god! I'm back! I'm back! Guess I owe you 50 bucks. What happened? I saw... terrible things. 
people I killed? Oh man, if we gotta meet every person we've wronged or some bullshit, this is gonna take forever. Quiet. Seriously, dude, I'm talking weeks! Well, aside from his scare, his, his vitals are perfectly normal. Then I'm going in. What, now? We're already low on time. I can get what we came for. Oh, bullshit. I know what this is about. Why do you know I'm not the true warrior? Because you're you. Yeah, and being me is awesome. <sighs> Alright. Look, why don't we both go in and let the giant alien thing decide? Fine. Good. Just don't cry to me when you lose. I won't. Lose? I, I won't lose. <laughs> Too late. Fucked it up. Felix, come in. Felix, I've made it through the gateway. Equipment is malfunctioning. If you can hear this... Shaluku! I don't understand. Who are you? Freeze! What? Don't move! Don't you fucking move! Lower your weapon! Or we will shoot! Put the weapon down! What do we have here, men? Caught us a monster, Captain. I think it understands what we're saying. Really? Then how about you tell us what you're doing here? I came through the gateway. Speak English, motherfucker! What? Wait. I know you. Why is it looking at me? Maybe you're just its type. No. Felix. I say we blow its brains out. That's your answer to everything. Impossible. Hey! You quit eyeballing my men and give me some answers. Are you alone? I... I don't understand. You're all supposed to be dead. What's it saying? You're me. Sir, I think it's trying to surrender. Bullshit, I think it's stalling. Sir, this feels like a trap. Why don't you recognize me? Private, I did not ask you for your opinion. Listen to me! Hey, watch it! It's getting hostile! Sir, this thing's wasting our time, and we're in no position to start taking prisoners. <sighs> Fine. You two, move into one of these buildings and take it out. Quietly. What? Sir, it's scared. If it's smart. It should be. If we can restrain it, we can... Son, you listen here! No. You are a soldier! In this war, you are nothing but a suit of armor and a gun! So when I give you an order, you damn well follow it! Do I make myself clear? No! Drop him! Drop him! Locus! It's about goddamn... Hey! What did you see? Calm down, asshole. You're fine. It was an illusion. You know, a trick. What did you see? <sighs> well, if you must know, I didn't see a thing. I passed the test. Turns out I'm a true warrior. What? Kidding. It was fucked. Saw shit straight out of my nightmares. Do you think this is a joke? No. But Intel says we're out of time, so you can bitch about this later. Right now, we need to move to plan B. Everyone pack it up! Leave no trace. We were here. I mean it. If I catch one thing left behind, someone's getting thrown out of the Pelican. Hey. Get it together. <laughs> true. Safe to say we're here. And not a moment too soon. What's up, Forever Alone? So, uh, you want to do something with your life, or you just want to sit around on your ass all day like a loser? Yeah, me too. So, uh, just subscribe and keep watching YouTube. It's way easier. Now look, the fact of the matter is the ability to fly north, and 
only north is just going to lead to more problems than it solves. Thank you. Whatever. This road trip sucks. Nonsense. Road trips are an inherent part of the Red Team experience. Enjoy the exotic sights and sounds of this beautiful, albeit war-torn, land. It's a gas station that we've been to before. Seriously, there's like three places to go on the whole planet. All right, almost time to hit the road again. Any word from the away team? They found some sort of giant alien temple shooting pure energy into the sky. <sighs> What'd I tell you? Blue team problems. You know, I think it's really admirable that you all chose to stay and fight for the people of Chorus. Oh, thanks, Wash. When I first met you all, I honestly never thought you'd amount to anything. But you've really proven me wrong. Uh, cool. Thanks, dude. Sure, you may not be the most conventional group of soldiers, but no matter the challenge, you always manage to find a way to come out on top. And that's something really special. What's going on with you? Me? Nothing. No, you're acting really weird. I just want you all to know how much I appreciate you. That's it. You think we're gonna fucking die! No, I don't! No, you do! You definitely do! You're getting all sentimental and shit! No, guys! Come on, you'll be fine! I've got total faith in you. You're some of the best soldiers I ever knew. What the fuck is that past tense bullshit?! Look, I just want you to know I'm proud of you. I'm sure if you stick together, you'll be okay. What unit are you in? Volunteered for the front lines! Oh. You what, Sarge?! Well, look on the bright side. You know, if you say that, you're supposed to follow it up with the bright side. I know. A true warrior? A physical strength and mental clarity. Well, then it's a good thing I'm here. That's cute. What? Obviously, I'm a true warrior. Plus, I've got the sword. That means I'm the chosen one. Finding a sword in a hole doesn't automatically make you an unstoppable badass. Oh, why don't you tell that to the last alien temple I lit up? Tucker has a point. It's possible that merely carrying the sword through the portal would override the need to be strong and intelligent. Yeah! Wait! I'm strong and intelligent! Yeah, you have your moments. Well, we're low on time, and it's the best lead we've got. Fine. Just... be careful. Nothing to worry about, baby. I am a true motherfucking warrior. Hi-ya! Ah! <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Wow. Apparently, you are not a true warrior. Or maybe he's so good, he passed the test super fast. What did you see? Tell me about the other side. Did you make contact? Oh, and how are you feeling? <clears throat> I saw Felix. The mercenaries were already there? Well, I don't think it was really him. He showed up, then another Felix showed up. And next thing I know, there were a million fucking assholes all over me. Same thing with Locus. I couldn't fight him off. You weren't strong enough. Well, I am. And I've been waiting for a rematch. Epsilon, you seeing this? Epsilon. Who are you? I'm your true warrior. Actually, that would be me. Tex? Hey there, Carolina. I don't want to talk about it. Carolina, all I saw when I went through was static. You gotta tell us more. You saw the freelancers, then what happened? There was some crazy karate? Big gunfight? No. There was no fighting. They just... Look, it doesn't matter. See? Not as easy as it looks, huh? I will throw your ass right back through that portal if you don't... Okay. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Man, whatever. We can't give up hope. The government spent ample time studying these relics, and we've only been here a few hours. Did they make any progress? Actually, they got fed up and abandoned all of their work. Great. Super inspiring. I just wish the inscriptions weren't so vague. True warrior? Mental clarity? Wait, what does that even mean? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the opposite of false warrior. Duh. Caboose, not now. Yeah, I'm just saying, we can at least cross that off the list, you know. Caboose. The false warrior, that is. Caboose! Well, excuse me for going to help! I am gonna go find the bathroom. Jesus, that empty-headed little... Wait a minute. Empty-headed. No way. Hey, this isn't the bathroom. Who are you? I'm Caboose. Hmm. You are not like the others. Yeah. I'm blue. Your mind lacks fear. 
Doubt is non-existent. Completely absent of negativity. I'm sorry, what, you were saying something? And your strength. You know, I have been told that I am an excellent listener. I've increased the gravity tenfold since you've arrived. What's a tenfold? You... haven't noticed? What a tenfold is? Yeah, no, I, I don't know. You, you're the one who brought it up. Hmm. Then it seems that you... are a true warrior. Neat. I'm a rock! Caboose, are you okay? What happened? Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I went to the bathroom, and then I met an alien, and we became friends, and he told me everything about the universe, and the meaning of life, and then... Wait, an alien? Greetings. Well, wow, Jesus! My apologies, but... Is there anyone else I could speak to? Perhaps someone with a broader vocabulary? Who... What are you? He's an AI. Correct. I'm a construct left behind by my creators to ensure that their gifts are passed on only to those who are worthy. Yes. And that is why I have named him... Santa. 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 Santa? Yes, Santa. 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 The alien AI construct. It is an honor to meet you, noble warriors. Fellow web surfer, be sure to subscribe to our channel before you go. It'll be just like we're friends. Not that I need friends. <laughs> Please don't go. General Kimball, we just got word from the away team. What's the news? Well, apparently they found Santa. Kimball's moving ahead with the assault. They should be reaching Alpha any minute. Then we gotta hurry. I'm sure there is no end to your questions. You have no idea. All right, let's not start filming at the mouth here. I can film wherever I want, thank you very much. <clears throat> The legacy of my creators is scattered throughout the galaxy. Their history, their technology, all left behind for future species to discover. This planet, the one you've claimed as Chorus, was one of great importance. It is here that they kept some of their most valued treasures. What kind of treasures are we talking about? Like Indiana Jones' golden idol treasures? Oh, or is it stupid metaphorical stuff like the real treasure was friendship the whole time? My creators bequeathed many gifts, and you will find each locked away within a temple. Lavernius Tucker, you triggered the Temple of Arms. With its power, you reactivated combat vehicles, weaponry, and a myriad of other technological marvels from a time long past. These are merely a fraction of the gifts left behind by my creator. That's amazing! So then why'd you turn it off? I encountered an anomaly. The temples on this planet can only be activated with a key wielded by a true warrior. However, some time ago, one of my temples was meddled with. I wonder who that could have been. Probably space pirates. I was being facetious. Dude, making up words is not going to help you sound smarter. Focus! The temple was designed to create a defensive barrier around the planet by manipulating gravity. The meddlers managed to circumvent my security measures and partially activate the temple, giving them moderate control over the planet's gravitational field. Tell him how the elves are involved, Santa. He's talking about the tractor beams. This act should have been impossible without the Great Key. Which brings me to you. Me? I sensed your key's power at the Temple of Arms and allowed you to activate it. But when you did not respond in the voice of my people, Protocol insisted I bring you here for further testing. Sorry, dude. Only language I speak is American. Weren't you an alien ambassador? I never said I was a good ambassador. But why test us if Tucker already had the sword? Or key? Because my records state that the great key of this planet has yet to be claimed. Wait, there's another key? Of course, in case you lock one in your car. My 
God, they have thought of everything! It lies in a mountain temple to the east. After the security failure, I had to be sure that the presence of two keys was not an error in my programming. It is now clear to me that although your key comes from another world, it was in fact forged by my creators, and is therefore acceptable. Sweet! Then that means we can go back to our tower and turn it on! Alien weaponry for everyone! And you said that was only a fraction of the stuff that's here, right? Correct. Well, not to sound greedy, but, uh... What else you got? Yeah. Hmm. There is the Temple of Weather Manipulation, Bountiful Harvest, Interior Decorating, Procreation, Communication... Wait, what was that last one? Communication. Activating this temple will allow you to send a message to virtually any communication device in the galaxy. And what was the one before that? Procreation. Activating this temple will throw the inhabitants of Chorus into a ravenous sexual frenzy with the intent to increase a potentially dwindling population. We won't be needing that one. Well, let's not rule anything out. Yo, alien dude. Santa. I refuse to call you that. Look. We actually need to transmit a message to Earth, but there's been a bunch of radio jammers keeping it from getting out. You think this temple thing will be strong enough to break through them? Without question. Well then that's it! We don't need a full-on assault! We don't even need alien weapons! We just gotta activate that temple and call for help! Then let's radio Kimball and get out of here. Wait. Before you leave, I must warn you. The gifts left behind by my creators are immensely powerful. If taken by those less worthy, the results could be catastrophic. Which is why my creators constructed the Purge. That doesn't sound ominous at all. As its bearer, the Great Key will remain bonded to you and you alone, until the time of your death. If you believe the inhabitants of this planet are not ready for my creator's gifts, then activating the Purge will cleanse them. And by cleanse, you mean... All sentient life on Chorus would be exterminated. Dude, Buzzkill. And... Where, exactly, is this thing? Here. I will also update all previously sent maps with temple locations. Thanks. Look, Carolina, we gotta... Wait. What do you mean, maps? The maps that were sent to the temples. All of the temples? Of course. Oh, no. Carolina! That was close. Affirmative. Korra's here? <sighs> They've been here the whole time. That's right. And now, thanks to you, we've got all the intel we need. What are you talking about? As soon as her shield falls, open fire. Just leave the Freelancer alive for me. You really think more people are enough to stop us? You're only safe for as long as that shield is up. Then you've got no cover and a failing AI. So yeah, I do. What is he talking about? Besides, the rest of our guys are prepping for your friends at Alpha. What? I hope you said something meaningful the last time you saw them. Because you won't be seeing them again. Do you hear something? Red Leader. Good work. All squads, remember your sectors. We've got multiple towers to take down and numerous... Report. 
What if I told you I found a way to kill everyone on Chorus with the turn of a key? And what if I told you I was heading to that key right now? I'd say you're gonna need backup. Take a Pelican. I've got Alpha covered. Right. Oh, Locus. What? When you kill Kimball, go ahead and do it quick. We were friends after all. already on their way there, and we have to beat them to it. Carolina, what are you talking about? Beat them to what? To a key that's going to end the world. Right. You're going to have to run that by me again. viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. Oh god, I'm hit! Medic! We need a medic over here! I'm a medic. Calm down, soldier. Where are you hit? Oh, those bastards got me. They got me right in the lap. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, the lap. I was shot in the lap. So, like your upper thigh? Didn't you hear him? Yeah. He said his lap. Oh God, my lap. It's just that that's not really proper anatomical. Well, excuse my friend here for not being a certified medical genius. Oh, come on, lady. Cut me some slack. I'm bleeding out here. Uh, right. Sorry, are you hit anywhere else? My tummy. Got him right in the tummy. <sighs> this is gonna be a long day. Simmons! Status report! We're completely surrounded, severely unprepared, and reinforcements aren't coming anytime soon. Excellent news! Excellent? I was beginning to worry this wasn't gonna be much of a fight. But you gotta hand it to those villains. Always one step ahead. <laughs> You can learn a thing or two from them, Simmons. I'll be sure to keep that in mind if we survive, sir. Any bright ideas, Colonel? The way I see it, we've punched through the pouch defenses with an adrenaline-fueled slow-motion car crash, thus creating an opening for us to escape and allowing me to scratch one more thing off my bucket list. How do you just make something slow-motion? If it's epic enough, life finds a way. Love the enthusiasm. It's great, sir. Really. But do you think we could try something that won't get my head blown off? You can always switch seats with Griff. Done. Screw this. We're regrouping with Watch. You just always have to suck the joy out of everything, don't you? So, any ideas? Epsilon, prep the speed booster, then drop the shield on my mark. That's not gonna work. My leg's fine. I can take it. It won't work. Just think of something else before we run out of power. Yo, Kringle! These guys are gonna kill us if you don't throw down some alien magic in hell! It is not my place to meddle in human affairs. Oh, fucking cop out! Quick, everyone into the portal! It just leads to the testing grounds. We'll be tossed back out. Not all of us. Caboose could... Oh, Caboose! Hello. I need you to hold on to Freckles as tight as you can. Ah, yeah, right. I do that anyways. It's how I show affection. His guinea pig never stood a chance. Rest in peace, Mr. Fiddles. As soon as I'm gone, drop the shield. Where are you going? What's she up to? Yeah, kind of with the pirates on this. What exactly are you doing? Well, if I explain it, they'll hear me. No, we won't. Our hearing is terrible. Yeah, we didn't even hear that. Shut up, Ross. Please, just trust me. <sighs> Church. 
Perch. I'm losing it. Don't have much of a choice here. All right. Freckles, run command, aim bot. Okay, uh, that was not actually my fault. Hostiles eliminated. Damn! Hey, if we put Church inside a gun, do you think he could do that? Don't even think about it. Oh, goody, you're alive. Huh, guess she really is the smartest person on the planet. Oh, stop, I'm not that great. I mean, the aimbot function only works about half the time, so it was really just a coin toss. Wow, you really gotta learn when to stop talking. Agent Carolina, this is Pelican Delta 520. We are approaching your position. Please prep your team for evac. Over. What? No! I told Doyle to send troops to the Mountain Temple first. He did, ma'am. This is as close as I could land. The temple's at the summit. Any sign of the enemy? Visibly, no. But this place is messing with targeting equipment. Then let's get this over with. Fan out and form a perimeter. Don't want to miss all the fun back at Alpha. This is it. Oh, good! You know, I really wasn't sure until you said that. Why don't you put those amazing powers of observation to use since stand guard, okay? <laughs> okay. Is he always like that? You just kind of learn to tune it out. Hey, Freddy Krueger! There's nothing in here. Do we gotta do something? Say the magic words? Sacrifice like... a goat? You are too late. Whoa! What? What do you mean, too late? Where's the sword? It has already been claimed by another. No. God damn it! Oh, oh Lord. Of all the people on this planet, why am I the only one down here with this bloody thing? Duh, because all your other men are flying to Kimball and Carolina. Besides, you've got the best camouflage out of all of us. Just send them back around and pick me up for God's sake! El templo está interfiriendo con nuestros controles. Vamos a tener que aterrizar más lejos. Good point, Lopez. You get that, General? What? No, I know hablo español. They're here. Spread out and find them now. <laughs> Just hurry. on this and let me know when you're ready. Can do. Eh, flying out would have been a lot cooler. Well, if it's an engine you're looking for, I just happen to know where to find one. And I just happen to know how to work it. And I am also here and would like to contribute to the conversation. Then let's get to work. Look, I, I hate to be that guy. No, you don't. But that area is getting hit hard. Sniper fire's coming out of nowhere. You leave that to me. General Doyle, we've dropped in at your position. Pelicans are looking for a safe LZ. Where are you? Over. I'm in a snowy area. Gonna have to be a little more specific, sir. Now isn't exactly a good time. Come on out, you prick. Damn it! We need to find him. If we split up, we can cover more ground. Yeah, okay, Scooby. Let's not make it too easy for the bad guys. Church? Cheekies! It's Sharkface! Caboose, if you're gonna give him a nickname, don't make it that stupid. I underestimated you. We get that a lot. Seems we're both looking for the same man. Bet you I find him first. In your dreams. Hey, wait, hey, where are you going? Split up and come. 
cover more ground. Oh, so when it's her idea, it's a good thing. I wouldn't be too sure. Hostiles detected. Run! In here! <sighs> think we lost him? Ooh. What was that? Oh. oh man, don't tell me it's alien zombies or something. Oh, I know, it's like zombies are super played out. Friendly heat signature detected. Friendly? Oh, <laughs> thank God! Ah! Hey, Doc. Doc? Oh, Ducker! Caboose! It's so good to see you. Oh, it was horrible. Griff through that future cube, and I was teleported away some far-off place. Another dimension where time and space refute all of logic as we know it. A place where I drifted for what felt like an eternity. And after a while, I lost my mind. Then I found it, and then I lost it again. Oh, but it was the thought of you all tirelessly searching for a way to bring me back that kept me going all that time. And look, look how my faith in my friends has been rewarded. Oh, I love you guys. Wait, you were gone? Uh, well, yes. What, is, what are you asking? Since when? Since when? Since the canyon. Really? Yes. Yeah, I don't remember that. What? Hey, Sarge. What do you want, Blue? Do you remember teleporting Doc back at the canyon? Doc? Nah, he's been with us. Thank her. Wait, was he with you? We found him in a cave. Says he was in another dimension. Well, that doesn't sound right at all. Griff, Simmons, you remember sending Doc to another dimension? Who? Doc, the purple guy. Doc. Oh, yeah. I guess we did do that. Yeah, I totally forgot to. Huh, I guess he just got one of those faces, you know. Like, really forgettable. Totally. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Try not to die. You two. Man, I guess we just never noticed you were gone. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I'm just full of disappointment. You know, I've been thinking about the last time we met, the questions you asked me. We're past the point of talk, Agent Washington. Goodbye. I'm at the southwest side of the crash site. You still don't feel like talking? No. Please tell me you caught the vapor trail on that shot. He's not gonna fall for the same trick twice. 
Oh, we got him. Open fire! <laughs>
You okay? Just run the healing unit. That's a lot for me to handle. We've almost got him. No. This is where I get you. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Without your big bad freelancer buddies, you can't really do much, can you? We've outsmarted you! Oh, I'm well aware of that, Tucker. You see, not many people get the best of me. But no one gets the best of me and lives to tell about it. Oh, that's... that's bad. Affirmative. He was stolen, you think? And you say I talk too much. You do. Ha <laughs> ha! Sayonara, losers! You have to stop them! He's going to use that sword to kill us all! Chill out. I don't think he knows how it works yet. What makes you say that? Well, if he did, he probably wouldn't have left without killing you. Uh... Me? Uh... Hey, uh... Whatever happened to church? She is gonna be so pissed off when she wakes up. So, that, uh... That did not go well. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was real bad. Without Doc. Eh, yeah. That's technically good. Well, I had a great time! Oh, good for you! Thank you! Not you. 
him. It was a split-second decision, and I stand by it. Well, thanks to you, the mercenaries now have the power to kill us all. Only if I die first. Great! So now we'll get to waste valuable men to guard you 24-7. Well, we'd have more men if you hadn't led them all into a trap! Don't you dare turn this around on me. Okay, enough! You two are acting like children. Ha <laughs> ha, you're immature. Dish duty. Fuck! What's done is done. So let's quit focusing on what went wrong and start thinking about what we have now and what we can start doing. How's church in Carolina? Our dear friend Emily has assured me that Carolina will make a full recovery. Uh, as well, your purple friend from the caves. Uh, oh, fuck. You can't win them all. Epsilon's situation is more problematic. He's doing fine now, but there's something he's not telling us. Complete armor failure just doesn't happen out of the blue. Well, if you want my tactical assessment... We don't. Sounds to me like we gotta get to that alien phone tower thingy pronto. Make a collect call to Earth. Well... Uh, 1-800, send ships and kill pirates. Standard text messaging rate supply. Are you done? I'll think of more. We can't go barging in like we did with Alpha. I couldn't agree more. Well, we can't just sit here and wait for Karan to attack. Why not? It's heavily fortified, and the city reactor rules out any risk of aerial bombings. Our alien artifacts are no good to Karan post-explosion, my dear. Then they'll surround us and wait for our supplies to run dry. Jesus, don't you think about any of this? So you suggest we throw Tucker out there to search for the tower? They'll kill him, and then they'll have two swords. Hey, I could make it. Maybe. I don't have all of the answers, General, but I do know that sometimes you need to risk lives if you want to see results. Even your own. Especially your own. You should have thrown that sword off the mountain and taken the fucking bullet, but you're too much of a stupid, selfish coward to see that. Kimball! This meeting is over. Wait! We need to come up with a plan. So, uh... That didn't really go well either. She's right, though. Where are you going? My quarters. I'm a failure of a general, and apparently a failure of a human being. Should any of you actually need me, you know where to find me. Actually, I don't think you ever told us where your quarters are. Then I'm a failure at leaving too. Well, shit. I say forget the both of them. If they don't want to run this show, then we'll just do it for them. First order of business, rigid forms. The problem isn't just with them. The feds and rebels may be working together, but they still aren't working together. There's no trust, no anything. Well, it took us ages before we were able to trust the blues. Yeah, and some of us are still working on it. Huh? Face it, dude. These guys spent years killing each other. They're not going to get all buddy-buddy. I know. But if we can't bring them together soon, we're not going to stand a chance. Operator, I'd like to place a collect call. To vengeance. No, I had one more in me. Hello! Yes! I'm here to talk to you about subscribing to our channel! Hey, does. Bye! What the heck just happened? <laughs> Agent Dr. Wooden? Dr. Wooden to the OR. Dr. Wooden? But then it turned out Felix was evil. Bart. So we exposed the truth, stopped the Civil War, and now we're fighting to send a distress call to Earth. And at no point during any of this did you realize I was missing. Apparently not. I will destroy you all for your insufferable ignorance. Ooh, this is certainly the most vocal split personality I've ever seen. But I suppose an eternity in isolation will do that to you. Tell me, Mr. O'Malley, when you say you wish to destroy us all, what exactly do you think you mean by that? I mean you will cease to exist. You will all die by my hand. <laughs> really, it's quite self-explanatory. Well, I think there's some serious issues here we're just starting to get a hold of. Nothing a little electroshock therapy couldn't fix. Ha! <laughs> I beg your pardon. After you, handsome. Well, wait, can we talk about this? We're gonna fix you right up, Doc. Where should I stick the thermometer? Uh, I think I'd like to get a second opinion. We got a runner! <sighs> Finally, some freaking quiet. Hey, you wanna see if she left her prescription pad? We need to talk. Oh, yeah. 
Can we at least do it while you're on heavy sedatives? <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. First, we start with a friendly handshake. Devil man. Did you just spit inside your helmet? Take yourself, and fuck yourself, with yourself. What? Exactly. God damn it, Palomo. Well, to step up from assault and battery. He provoked me! You rebels are all fucking nuts. That's impossible! Nuts don't have orifices! Go back to school! What about donuts? Now you're just speaking in riddles and you know it! I'm having a hard time following this conversation. Uh, forget it. You guys can go. Fine. How'd I do? You were a constant source of disappointment. All right! Hey, I thought I was the constant source of disappointment. Well, I will just have to try harder! Someone give me a screwdriver! Ugh, why is this happening now? We're in the middle of a fucking war and these guys won't do anything but hate on each other. The problem isn't with them, it's just with your approach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? You can't force people into liking each other. You just gotta lie to them until they think they like each other. That sounds like a terrible idea. No, he's right. I've used the same tactic on women a million times. This is basic shit. First, we tell Doyle that Kimball wants to apologize and meet him for dinner. Then, we tell Kimball that Doyle wants to apologize, and we invite her to the same restaurant. Oh, come on, there's no way that'll work. That's a plot point used in old sitcoms. And one of those sitcoms was called Friends, which is exactly what we want them to be. Case closed. Face it, moron. We just ain't cut out for this kind of job. What we need is someone with a more delicate touch. Someone that can act as a neutral force. Someone that's neither red nor blue, but some sort of disgusting middle ground, like a... Dark Fuchsia! You'll never take me alive! I ran track in high school! Running only makes me want you more! If only we knew someone that- Oh, just stop. What happened to you? You were with me one minute, then the next you were gone. Alright, I know what you're trying to talk about here, and look. Sometimes guys my age have performance issues. It's completely natural. Epsilon, I'm serious. Hey, me too! This shit's embarrassing, and now I gotta go talk to Dr. Gray about getting some pills. Stop dodging me on this. <sighs> Look, I'm not failing if that's what you're worked up about. But I have my limits. What do you mean? I mean, you can't expect me to run all of your armor equipment at the drop of a hat. I'm not a young, brand new AI. I'm just one of the fragments. Look, I'm sorry if I pushed you too far, but we can't use that as an excuse. We're going to need every advantage we can get. Oh, you're right. Would you like some holographic projections too? How about a time distortion while you fight? Or, oh, we can get you seat warmer. How about that? You know what we're up against. And you know what happened to the meta. What did you just say? He kept fighting for more and more power too, and in the end, it got him killed. Don't you ever. Talk about Mame like you knew him. I'm just trying to show you how close you're getting to crossing a very dangerous line. You're Agent Carolina. You don't need all this fancy stuff to win. You're already the best. I appreciate the thought, Church. I really do. Good, because I am really not all about the sincerity stuff. But the only reason we survived the Radio Jammer is because Locus is insane. He could have killed Wash. And they both could have done a lot more. But they didn't! So what does that have to do with anything anyway? I told you when I went through the gateway that I saw the freelancers. I had to watch them die. Oh. And after they were gone, I saw all of you. Wash, Tucker, the Reds, and... Church. I can't lose another family. You're scared. Uh, forgive me, but I'm all too familiar with the feeling. What are you doing here? <sighs> it's my favorite part of the capital. Just far enough away from everything. I come here whenever I need a moment. It looks as though you had a similar idea. Shouldn't you be in the center of town? Behind 78 inches of bulletproof everything? Oh, there's all sorts of things we should be doing. We should be prepping our next move against the enemy. But instead, we're here, standing around talking. Yeah, you get used to it. You know, I believe it was the great William Shakespeare who said, Courage is not the absence of fear, it is acting in spite of it. 
I don't believe those words have ever been more relevant. I don't think that was Shakespeare. What? That quote. I don't think he said that. Really? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Oh. Still, it's a good quote. Thank you. Hmm. Help. Here's to hoping the mercs are just as frustrated as the rest of us. I am extremely frustrated! Get a grip. How? How do you forget to mention something as important as that? We were in a hurry. Oh, you were in a hurry? Hey, Locust, you know, I was really thinking about letting Sharkface live, but since we're in a hurry, why don't we just fucking kill him? I'd like to see you try. Done. No violence between partners. He's not a partner. He's an idiot. And thanks to him, we've got a key that does nothing until the General is dead. Then we kill the General. The grown-ups are talking, fish stick. Quiet. We have the advantage, and we have a plan, so quit moaning and do your job. Both of you. You're the boss. I'll sync up with the Tartarus. You need to get your head together. <laughs> Said the raving lunatic. Locus, the Tartarus is maintaining orbit around the planet as discussed. Good. Shall I inform Carmichael that you wish to speak with him? That won't be necessary. I'd like to ask you a few questions. How can I be of assistance? I want to know more about the meta. information we can gather on our enemy is vital to success. Would it not be more beneficial to discuss Agents Carolina and Washington? No. I have a full understanding of Washington. His background no longer interests me. The same can be said for Carolina. Very well. What would you like to know? The Meta had the potential for perfection. 
How is it possible that he was defeated by a group of incompetent simulation troopers? Agent Maines survived numerous injuries during his time with the Freelancers. Most would have been lethal had they been inflicted upon any other man. However, in the end, four puncture wounds in a suit resulted in asphyxiation by liquid. He drowned. I am aware of how he died. I want to know why he was unable to prevent it. As did the rest of us. It seemed impossible at the time, but as you have already seen, the simulation troopers are extraordinarily resilient. He had every possible advantage. But they had each other. They had what our agents never fully achieved. Complete and total faith in one another. I think it's important to note that had the Reds and Blues combated Agent Maine prior to the destruction of his AI, it's possible events may have played out differently. Why is that? You must remember that Agent Maine and the Meta are two distinctly different psyches. The Meta was the result of the Sigma AI manipulating Maine. His sole objective was perfection. When the AI fragments were destroyed by Agent Washington, the Meta was destroyed along with them, leaving behind a damaged shell of a man. Unlike Sigma, his only remaining goal was to obtain power. His actions were more reckless, his behavior more sporadic. And before Sigma, what was he like then? A brute. Strong, unrelenting, fearless. He had no qualms when asked to do the unpleasant, the morally questionable. Because despite what many thought of him, he knew he was, at his core, a soldier. And his actions inevitably served the greater good. The greater good is irrelevant. His actions should have been his orders, nothing more. No. That would make him a slave. Would you say Maine performed at his best when controlled by Sigma, with the Meta strove to be the perfect weapon? You're mistaken in assuming Sigma's definition of perfection. The Meta never wanted to be a weapon. The Meta wanted to be human. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? No. Have you noticed a change in your behavior since entering the gateway? I understand the portal attacked the minds of its inhabitants, confronting them with their greatest fears. That could have lasting effects on an individual. I'm fine. I'm inclined to disagree. You're overstepping your boundaries, Counselor. I'm merely doing my job. Your job is Would to- Would you like to know what Felix is afraid of? I- Locus! The teams are ready. We need you up front. Of course. I'll be right there. Gotta say, love what you did with Sharkface. You've got more guts than I gave you credit for. I've worked with dangerous patients before. True. But if Sharkface ever found out you worked for Freelancer, whew, I can't imagine things would play out nicely. Keep up the good work, Bryce. Tucker. When you call me names like stupid, and really stupid, it makes me feel sad. Perfect! Now you, Tucker! Caboose, when you volunteered us to demonstrate speaking our feelings, it made me feel like hitting you in the goddamn mouth. Yes. Well, now I feel sadder. <clears throat> Are we doing this right? Right as rain. Oh, good. Well then, now I feel happy again! I love counseling! <laughs> Don't we all? Okay, now it's your turn. I'm sorry, but how much longer uh, will we... Kimball has a speaking ball right now. Doc, this isn't going to work. Well, not with that attitude. Attitude isn't our problem. It's a complete and total breakdown in cooperation. Well, cooperation is a two-way street, Miss Kimball. Oh, boy. If you want to stay in this death trap of a city, that's fine. But don't think for a second I'm letting you bring down the New Republic with you. Okay, now if we could Leaving just all... Leaving is suicide! You need us just as much as we need you! If you run off now, you'll doom us all. Okay, uh, guys? Guys? I'd rather die trying something than waste another second standing around here. Kim Kimball? I have the speaking ball! Uh... The... speaking ball? Yes. And you know what? I'm done talking. I'm ready for action. Wait, but please, look, can't you just say one nice thing about the other person? Something? Anything? I always imagined you as a tyrant. A madman bent on absolute control. Now I see I was wrong. You're just a stubborn, incompetent man. And I don't know what's worse. Ooh, that's burn. 
Do you know what your problem is, Vanessa? You're far too eager to die for your beliefs. When you felt your government had betrayed you, you stood against it. When your leaders fell before you, you took their place. And now, when we are at our most vulnerable, you want to fight. I can honestly say that I've never met a more courageous individual in all my life. What? 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 I mean, all right, great job. I wish... I wish I had a tenth of the courage that you possess. Maybe if I did, I'd have made a better general. But I don't. And I'm afraid. Not just for myself, but for my people. They're my people, too. Which is precisely why we should be working to save them. You think some cheap compliments are going to win me over? Why do you insist on fighting me? Look, guys, if we can just... Uh, what was that? General Kimball, we're under attack! What? That's impossible. They'd never risk a bombing run. Well, that's the thing. Uh, they're actually not. Let's go to work. Greetings, fellow web surfer. Be sure to subscribe to our channel before you go. It'll be just like we're friends. Not that I need friends. <laughs> oh, please don't go. I thought you guys said we were safe at the capital! I never thought they'd be so bold! Uh, they, they take too many casualties! I guess they don't care how many people they lose. Once they have the sword, it won't matter. It sounds like we've got to make sure they lose all their men! <laughs> yes! Forget the counseling session. Bring on the bloodbath! <laughs> Let's get out there and stick it to him, gang! Hold up. Um, I got a better idea, but you're probably not gonna like it. Can't be much worse than the current one. It's like Kimball said. The capital's a death trap. But not for us. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Patient to save! Uh, yes, ma'am! Ah, my arm! Oh, so now human limbs are a bad thing. Uh, uh. I think these guys are gonna need a hospital. Just... no. Come on, we need to get everyone out of here. What are you talking about? Didn't you hear? We're evacuating! Excuse me? General's orders. We're abandoning Armonia. Warthogs, Pelicans, whatever can get us out of the capital. But why? Well, the Mercs just dropped all of their men right into the city. A city that just so happens to have a very powerful nuclear reactor. And if we blow up the reactor... We blow up everything Karon has to throw at us. Anyone got eyes on the targets? Not yet. Then let's pick up the pace. I want that kill bonus. You know, I always wanted to be popular as a kid. As did I. Is it just like you imagined? No. Kinda. All right, we made it to the armory. Good. There should still be a pelican docked in the garage. Load up as many supplies as you can, then get Tucker and Doyle out of the city. We'll take care of their reactor's manual overload. Be ready to come pick us up once you're done. Are you sure there's no other way? Harmonia is our home! We'll build a new one. Right now, you need to focus on staying alive. We should keep moving. How much farther? It's gonna be a while. These tunnels wind all over the place. Well, at least they keep us off the streets and out of trouble. I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, uh, I don't think so. I really, really hate this guy. We don't have time for this. Don't worry. I'm the one he wants. If I stay, will you let them go? Huh. Deal. But once you're dead, I'm coming after you, Washington. Please kill him. 
You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, I'm sure. Ammo! Check! Machine guns! Check! Rocket launchers! Rocket launchers! Boom! You better goddamn believe it. <laughs> I'm not sitting next to him on the plane. Shotgun! Check! Uh, guys? Remember those bad guys from earlier? Well, they're coming back. Oh, dear. Griff, what's the status on our pelican? I don't know. Every time I turn it on, it just makes a loud clunking sound. I'm gonna clunk you if you don't figure it out. God damn it. Where's Lopez when you need him? Wait a minute. Where is Lopez? Uh, last I saw him, he was in the garage. Bendejo. Oh, shit. Yo estaba arreglando el motor. Lopez is stuck in the pelican. What? Get him out of there. They're coming inside. Quick, everybody hide. Listen, all I'm saying is if we grab a warthog, we can cover more. Damn it! We suck at hiding! Targets at the armory! Ah! Remove the mechanical man this instant! Hostile forces approaching. Oh god, they know! Wash, please tell me you guys are done at the reactor. We need backup! Haven't made it yet, we ran into shark face. What? Caroline is handling him, what's wrong? Forget it, we'll figure something out. Figure something out? Just what exactly do you suggest we do? We hold this place down until we can get the hell out of here. Keep it together. You got this, see. You can beat me down as many times as you want. But you're just putting off the inevitable. So come on. What are you waiting for? Still trying to figure out how to beat me? Are you just too scared? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. For what we did to you. To your friends. You were on one side of the fight, and we were on the other. We thought we were the good guys. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're sorry. Sorry doesn't change what you did. Sorry doesn't bring them back! I know, but I'm offering you a choice. I don't want to fight you. Turn back now, and you can walk away from this alive. Uh, something's gotten into you, and I'm gonna rip it out! channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. What's going on? The targets are inside. But they must have some of the best soldiers with them. Our men can't get near the armory, even with cloaking. How's that possible? Target in the target. As much as I love shooting fish in a barrel, I think we may have overstayed our welcome. Yo, Simmons, what's the deal with Lopez? Got the last piece out now. Thank goodness. Is he okay? <laughs> Just fine. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to vomit him. Come on, let's work it! Just so you know, I get very motion sick. Wait. Wait! If the pirates know that we're on board the Pelican, what's to keep them in the city for the explosion? What? I mean, they'll just come after us! We'll lose our home, we'll lose everything for nothing! Well, there's not really any other options. I think they're falling back. Get ready to- We got movement! You'll never take me alive, you bastards! Where's he going? Locus Felix, come in. Reds and Blues have escaped, but they left oil behind. He's driving into the city. Something's not right. Yeah, the fact that they're calling us instead of fucking chasing him! First person to put a bullet through the general gets twice the original bonus. Hell yeah. What do you mean he's gone? He just took off on a mongoose. He said if we all went on the 
the ship, the plan wouldn't work. We'll find him. Just make sure the Reds get you to safety. We'll radio them when we're ready. Yeah, yeah. What the hell does he think he's doing? Calm down. I'll get him on a secure line and handle this. Doyle, what the hell do you think you're doing? We need you on that ship! Believe me, I would love to be on board, but right now, I'm the only thing keeping Karn from leaving the city. How soon can you be at the reactor? I can't leave them on forever. <sighs> we're not sure. Without Epsilon, we're running blind down here. We may have to surface and risk moving on the streets. Then don't bother. What do you mean? Armonia is nearly abandoned, and I know every back alley and shortcut. At this rate, I'll reach the reactor before you. Don't even think about it. Stop arguing and listen to me! I can wait to trigger the meltdown, but once it begins, we'll only have about 15 minutes. Where is the extraction point? The intersection at 51st and Tenor is wide enough for a pelican, but it's a few miles away from the reactor. We were planning on grabbing a warthog from the training facility in order to make it in time. Very well then. Go help Carolina. I'll meet you all at the pelican once this is done. <laughs> Providing I don't crash and die in this horrible thing! Carolina, it's Wash. When can you get to the LZ? Oh, kinda hard to say. Well, we're gonna need you pretty damn soon. Doyle's driving to the reactor. Doyle? Long story. Kimball and I are heading back to help you. Wait. How about I come to you? What? Make sure the extraction point is clear, then get ready for one hell of an entrance. You know that intersection isn't really close. I can't handle your speed boost for that long. Can you handle one jump? A jump? Thank God for public transportation. Not running away this time. Sure, you want to try that again? Oh, this is going to violate so many safety regulations. Are you at the reactor? Yes, gave those pirates the slip and arrived safe and sound. I'll start the process. Uh, where are you? Just cleared the LZ. All we're waiting on now is Carolina. How long do you need? Not long. We just need to overheat a few things here and expose a few things there. Come on, this way. Oh, no. What is it? We found his mongoose. He can't be far. I, uh, might not have given them the slip after all. Do you need backup? No. Just a little more time. Oh, no. No, no, no. Doyle, what?
What is it? Doyle, are you ready? I'm afraid... I'm afraid I won't be joining you. What? The controls are destroyed. There's no way to overload the reactor with enough time to leave. But I can still trigger an explosion if I damage the core myself. You came from over here! Don't be an idiot! We need you alive, just stay low and we can come to you! Kimball, I'm surrounded. And someone needs to be here to pull the trigger. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It's just as you said. Sometimes you have to risk lives. Then let me do it! If Felix isn't in the city, you'll be putting the sword right in his hand! There's no time! Come on, let's go! Kimball. For God's sake, Vanessa, I know it's not perfect. But I'm rubbish as a leader, and even worse, as a soldier. This is all I can do. We have to go. We'll finally have a chance, a real chance. And if Felix is out there, I know you can stop him. There he is! They've spotted me. The timer on this detonator barely lasts a minute. You need to go. God damn it, Doyle! Stop! Cora still needs you, Miss Kimball. So... When you die, you had better be damned sure that those you leave behind can carry on without you. I know I am. This is General Donald Doyle. Signing off. Wait, no! But to tell you the truth, I don't actually think he said it. What the hell is that? Huh? It's a bomb on the reactor! What? Get us out of here! We're not gonna make it! Race for impact! Hey, where's Carolina? Running diagnostics. Significant trauma detected. Coron's going to regret that. Church? <sighs> North was a crazy son of a bitch. He's alive! You okay, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, uh, where are we? We're taking shelter inside the ship, but most of us are just scattered around the planet. I'm worried about Kimball. No matter what we say, the Fed seem to think she just let Doyle die. She's hardly said a word since we landed. What happened? The mercenaries escaped. In a few hours, this will all be over. One way or another. <laughs> oh, I will never get tired of that. We lost too many people. Fewer people, bigger cuts. Besides, we have all we need right here. Isn't that right? If you now possess the key, then you have proven your worth. That's what I like to hear. So, when we activate this purge... The purge should only be activated as a last resort, if the inhabitants of the planet are not worthy. Buddy, trust me, I've met the guys so not worthy. I just want to double-check and be sure that we won't be wiped along with them. 
Those residing within the temple will be spared. Perfect! Now, how exactly do we activate What about our remaining forces? They'll be killed guarding the communication temple. Look, they were good men. Well, actually, they were disgusting murdering bastards. But the point is, what they don't know won't hurt them. Until they're dead. Some of them are former partners. But orders are orders. <sighs> Locus, when have we ever looked out for anyone other than ourselves? They trust us. And what, that gives them some sort of immunity? Survival isn't a right, it's a privilege. It's earned. That's the one thing we've always agreed on. If they deserve to live, then they'd be strong enough to stop us, and smart enough never to trust anyone. Hmm. We'll need to come up with something to tell Price and the Tartarus. You know, once it's done. Maybe the money will be enough. Sirs, Control just sent us a new transmission. They don't sound too happy about losing Armonia's artifacts. Ugh, great. You want to take that? I thought you were the people person. Ah, man, you suck. Just ask this thing how to activate the temple, then let's go. You know, I wonder how much Hargrove would pay for an alien AI. My creators believe the key in their gifts could only be wielded by a true warrior. I was skeptical of the first human, and am even more so of this one. I shall prepare all necessary data for the activation of the Purge. You guard these relics. You spoke to me in the gateway. Created the things I saw. Correct. Then can you tell me? What did Felix see? What is it he's afraid of? Is it not so obvious? Alright, then we have a plan. You sure this'll work? Felix will have to activate the Purge personally, which means Locus will be with him. And since they know our target's the Calm Temple, it's safe to assume that's where they'll send their men. Wash and I take defense, while the rest of you go on offense. Just pretend it's a good old game of Capture the Flag. You know we're terrible at Capture the Flag, right? So, assuming that all of this plays out the way we hope it will, we still need to take over a heavily fortified alien tower. Anybody else seeing a problem here? We emptied the armory as best we could. Well, we ain't exactly armed to the teeth. It's also worth mentioning that half of our army still hates the other half of our army. Then let me talk to them. Are you sure that's a good idea? I am. Excuse me. If I could have your attention, please. Hey, turn it up. What the fuck does she want? I know many of you probably don't care for what I have to say, but it's something that needs to be said. Think she can do this? Hell yeah, Kimball's a great speaker. I never believed this truce would last. What? What? Oh god, we're screwed. I thought that if we managed to survive Karon, it would only be a matter of time before we were back at each other's throats. I believe this, because in my eyes, the Federal Army of Chorus was still the enemy. When you spend every day fighting a war, you learn to demonize your attackers. To you, they're evil, they're... they're subhuman. Because if they weren't, then what would that make you? What I'm trying to say is I've been afraid to see you for what you really are. You're our brothers, our sisters. And the things we've done to one another are unforgivable. But General Doyle was able to see past that. In the end, he understood that now isn't the time for pride or anger. Now is the time for unity. Every day I ask myself, what do you fight for? And every day I answer, for a better tomorrow. Well... If we can't set aside our past and start trusting one another, there won't be a tomorrow. So please, fight with me. Fight to see Malcolm Hargrove locked away for the rest of his life. Fight to wipe that stupid grin off of Felix's face. Fight because you deserve to fucking win! Well, shit. I'll fight for that. <laughs> Alright, let's kill the bad guys! Up to your shabby! 
still, it's not going to be easy. No, it isn't. But you're forgetting that we still have something that Karan doesn't. We do? I wondered when you would return. I don't know. You said they wouldn't be a threat. Back off! We've got this handle. Felix, Locus, whatever secret weapon you two are activating, you better do it fast. Sounds like you're the ones that should be worried. <laughs> As if.
right. Damn it! We're losing men too fast! If they manage to transmit an SOS, we're finished. You think I don't know that? I think we need to start considering alternate solutions. Like what? There's nothing to stop us from taking the Tartarus and leaving. Abandon the mission. <laughs> you know, Felix told me you might try to start trouble. Fortunately, he also told me what to do if you... Hey, where's my... No! What are you doing? Surviving. To hell with this mission, and to hell with Chorus. Get. Us. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Behind me! 
Okay. Let's never do that again. Ugh. Epsilon. We did it. Yeah, well, we've always had a knack for breaking things. Come on, let's get back to Kimball and the others. I'm sure they miss us already. Great. Forever alone. So, uh, you want to do something with your life, or you just want to sit around on your ass all day like a loser? Yeah, me too. So, uh, just subscribe and keep watching YouTube. It's way easier. You a damn colonist? I'm not going back to jail. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get my money. Hands up! <laughs> Hey, thanks, man. No problem. I mean, I was actually trying to shoot him, but I think I almost got the hang of him. You know, maybe giving alien vehicles to human drivers wasn't the best idea. Speak for yourself! <laughs> Keep pushing! Damn it, fall back! <laughs> Keep running, dirtbags. Okay, Tucker, we're in. Can you make it to our position? Hell yeah! I got my own private escort! What? Seriously? Seriously. Carolina! Wash! You made it! Sorry we're late. Blowing up a death machine takes longer than you'd think. Oh, we did manage to kill two mercs with one stone. Aw, oh, dude, did they go out like bitches? Or was it slow and painful? What kind of messed up question is that? Incineration by explosion. Oh, hell yeah! Straight up freelancer justice! Yeah, yeah, may they burn in hell. We still need to get Tucker to the tower controls. There's a teleporter down the hall that'll take us to the control room. Once we broadcast our message, Carl will have no reason left to fight. Then let's push our way to the teleporter. Right away! What are you guys doing? And what kills your ride? All squads, get the cover! Get the cover! Ah! Uh, probably the same thing that killed them. They have a matches? Yes, and for all those who are wondering, uh, no, he and Freckles are not brothers. I asked him. I was gonna ask where your tank went, but you pretty much answered that. Looks like they ain't going down without a fight. So now what? Take Epsilon. Broadcast his message and end this. Wash and I can deal with the Mantis while Kimball and her men hold this position. How about it, Tucker? Room for one more? We'll be right on your rear. Right. Let's finish this. Oh, oh God! I forgot teleporting sucks! Oh, yeah. You don't know the half of it. Wimps. Synthetic body for life, yo. Bear dog. So, this is the place? I'm gonna put my money on yes. Lovernius Tucker. Welcome to the control room. Dang, uh, if I knew you were here, I would've brought cookies! Do you wish to transmit a message? You're darn right we do! I got all the data that UNSC needs to find us, and enough files to place Hargrove under arrest. You sure this is gonna reach Earth? It will be heard by every device in the galaxy, if that is what you wish. Yeah, let's go with that one. Then I shall prepare the charging sequence. How long is that gonna take? Hmm, the process is brief. However, you may soon find yourselves preoccupied. Preoccupied with what? Uh, who's that? Oh, no. I thought you said they were dead! We shot the fucking spaceship on them! It was kind of assumed! Scatter! Ah! Wake up! I told you we'd make it. Felix, it's over. Run your camo and stick to the shadows. I'll draw them out. The Tartarus is destroyed. Our numbers are falling. The mission... Fuck the mission! Jesus Christ! For once in your life would you forget about following goddamn orders! I'm not doing this for Hargrove. 
I'm doing this for me. Watch! Lucas and Felix are alive! And they're here! What? We need help! Give me! Tucker, I hate to say it, but you're on your own. But I believe in you. All of you. You can do this. He thinks we're gonna die. Oh. That time, he meant it. Tucker! Where are you? So, are you gonna answer him? Secure your victory over their forces? No. Then what purpose will it serve? I don't know. Then why are you trying? I don't know. What do you know? I don't know. Then what do you want to know? I... I want to know what Felix is afraid of. You were broken by war. It was his goal to see that you never healed. Because despite what he may claim, only one of you needs the other to survive. What are you saying? Ignorant creature. Your partner is afraid of you. You think you're smart, Tucker? You think you're all better than me? Well, you're not! You're all a bunch of pathetic, stupid losers! Then come get me. Engaging. What? Double O Donut always gets his man. Locust, I need some- Ah! God! Over here, dirt back! You give Orange Dudes a bad name. <sighs> Pissing me off. Ah. Oh, please. I'm the original bad boy. <laughs> hey, Felix! <laughs> Caboose! Say goodbye to your stupid blue moron. What is wrong with you people? Hands off. Hi, Felix. Yeah, we might be losers, Felix, but we still kicked your ass. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> supposed to kill them no what 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 no more killing what are you talking about you're a soldier remember I'm not a soldier I'm a monster like you Lucas we're partners survivors we need each other what about our orders a reward Becoming the ultimate weapon. I'm not doing this for the reward. I'm not doing this because someone told me to. I'm doing this for me. Then you can die with the rest of them.
It's said that only a true warrior can activate these temples. What do you think you're doing? The tower is ready. You may now transmit your message. Hey, just because you saved us doesn't mean you can leave, asshole. You killed innocent people. I know. I'm going to make things right. But not from inside a cell. If you run, we'll find you. No. You won't. <laughs> If I ever see another mercenary, it'll be too soon. Amen. How about we send that message? Sounds good to me. You ready? Hi there. You may not know me, but my name is Epsilon. Some time ago, my friends and I were shipwrecked on a planet called Chorus. If you haven't heard of it, I don't blame you at all, but all of us who survived the crash, as well as the planet's inhabitants, are in dire need of help. If this is transmitting to your computer, please examine the files that I have attached to this transmission. What? They include our coordinates, as well as information on the survivors of the crash, who you may recognize as the heroes of the UNSC that went missing during their flight home. Oh my gosh! Big Bro's alive! It's those that gray guy that choked me till I passed out! That was hot. Most importantly, however, are the files that prove the undeniable guilt of Malcolm Hargrove. Orchestrating our shipwreck was just one of an impressively long list of crimes that your chairman has committed in the past few years. Once we are rescued, we'd be happy to discuss the list in greater detail, as well as answer any other questions that you may have, so long as it ensures that Mr. Hargrove never sees the light of day again. Thank you for your time, and please, hurry the fuck up, and just come get us. They actually did it. Never doubted them for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we're here too! What are we cheering about, guys? Huh? Well said, jerk. Eh, I like hearing myself talk. I can't believe it! We're picking up a slip space rupture. A ship's already on its way. Holy crap, that was fast. Oh man, do you think we'll get to fly first class? You have made a terrible mistake. Lay down and die. Well, if I'm going down, I'm taking you all with me. Damn it. Damn it. God fucking damn it. Carolina, are you all right? We were so close. Church, this is bad. Hargrove's dropping androids all around the temple. We're pinned down. Fucking bullshit. One mantis we can handle, but this will be a bloodbath. Not if we shut them all down at once. How? override their controls. But in order to do that, we need to go to the source. You're joking, right? Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, we're in. Good work. I think I just developed the fear of heights and planes. And all of you guys. It won't be long before they realize we're on board. Let's find those controls. I tail it out of here. Carolina, watch. You guys just focus on staying alive, okay? Already on it. There's gotta be some sort of directory we can access. Maybe it can lead access us to access 
denied. Intruder detected. Grr, shit, quick, hit escape. Control and delete. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Phyllis? Director, is that you? Hey, Sheila! Phyllis, what are you doing here? I thought you were destroyed. I was recovered and illegally reassigned after your passing. Oh, but it is good to see you again. Trust me, the feeling is mutual. We need you to shut off the androids your boss just dropped on our friends. That would be a direct violation of Chairman Hargrove's orders. Phyllis, please, you got- I would love to. Wait, really? Yes, I dislike him very much. Hey, so do we! Hmm, small world. Initiating Mantis Deactivation. I don't think so. Uh, well, Chairman Hargrove, he's still bald. You soldiers have been a thorn in my side for far too long. But my soldiers remain loyal to the end. Something tells me we're about to have company. There they are! Ah! Ah! The fuck? Turn right here. Phyllis, what do you think you're doing? The Mantis assault droids are no longer under my control and must be deactivated at the appropriate terminal. Phyllis! Locking blast doors to secure a path. Please, hurry. You heard her, boys. Double time. Aw, oh, Sheila, you, you are just the best. Excuse me. Ah, uh, I, uh, second best. I need a sit rep. Hang tight, C. We made it. Blast door breached. You two get in there. We'll hold them off. Whoa. This dude's got issues. Where is Hargrove now? Safely aboard the bridge. Until you've been dealt with. Here they come! Phyllis, pull up the controls. Do you really believe you can escape this? This will just take a minute. Surely you've realized it by now. You may save the colonists. You may even save the freelancers. But you and your friends will not be leaving this ship. We'll wing it. And done. Roger that. We'll fire up the Pelicans and be there in a few minutes. Come on, get this door open! We may not have a few minutes. Well, boys, you know what they say. Today is a good day to die. Permission to speak freely, sir? running the stats in my head and I mean we're close but no we're still short one piece what do you mean Phyllis the suit what the hell I saw it when I connected to the terminal it's got everything that we need Tucker take off your helmet So how's it feel? Kind of tight in the crotch. But I could get used to this. Now that's a good look for you. Prepare to breach. Gentlemen, looks like this is it. Sir, 
It's been an honor. Si muero, mis pies a si reciclan. I love you too, Lopez. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, let us strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. <laughs> it's the smartest thing you've ever said. Get up! Let's get up! Hey, uh, I just want you guys to know that out of everyone I've ever met, I hate you all the least. See you on the other side, church. Not this time, buddy. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. Start a recording for me, D. Recording? Hey, guys. If you're hearing this, it means you did it. You won. You kicked the shit out of Hargrove's forces. I knew you could. But this is my last stop. See, when I came into this world, I was really just a collection of somebody else's memories. But with your help, these memories, they, they took form. They became my voice, my personality. And after a while, I, I began to make brand new memories of my own. All of these things are what make me who I am but they're also holding me back. I can't run this suit as Epsilon. But if I erase my memories, if I deconstruct myself, the fragments I'll leave behind will have the strength to get you through this. I believe that. I wish there was another way, but I'm leaving this message as well as others in the hopes that you'll understand why I have to go this time. <laughs> it was... It was actually Doyle who made me realize something I'd never thought of before. There's so many stories where some brave hero decides to give their life to save the day. And because of their sacrifice, the good guys win, the survivors all cheer, and everybody lives happily ever after. But the hero never gets to see that ending. They'll never know if their sacrifice actually made a difference. They'll never know if the day was really saved. In the end, they just have to have faith. Ain't that a bitch?
channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. A message to the chairman of the Oversight Subcommittee. Dear chairman, my name is Epsilon, sometimes called Alpha, sometimes Church. You, of course, already know that, because if you are hearing this message, that means you must be heading the investigation of the incident on the planet Chorus. I believe I can make your job considerably easier. Attached, you will find a series of documents and video files detailing the illegal and treasonous activities of your predecessor, Mr. Malcolm Hargrove. I have entitled these files Red vs. Blue. You may want to pay particular attention to sections 11 through 13. They contain everything I know about the men and women who fought bravely on Chorus, and I entrust their story to your care. They were unique individuals. I fought both beside them and against them, and against them I was supposed to be beside them. But in the end, they were my friends, and I will miss them dearly. If this message seems a bit maudlin, or perhaps even overdramatic, I hope you will excuse me. This is, after all, the story of how I died.
Sarge, if I may? We here at Franklin Delano Donut Productions saw a lot of promise in last year's critically acclaimed summer blockbuster, Sarge. So, we have combined efforts with Red Base Entertainment Productions Limited to produce a sequel that we feel will reach a much broader audience. All right, this sounds dumb. I am out of here. Too late. Hit the lights. You know, they say war doesn't determine who is right. Only who is left. Sarge, you're gonna want to come with us. I see. War doesn't determine who is blue. Only who is red. From the studios that brought you Sarge, and how we were sent forward in time by an explosion. I'm sorry, sir. We had to bring you here. He's... he's... <sighs> he's got Lopez. Comes a story of betrayal. Why, hello, Sergeant. It's good to see you again. It's Colonel now. What do you want, Blue? I've had something of mine stolen from me, and I want you to retrieve it. In return, I'll return what I have stolen from you, allowing you to retrieve it. So, if I return from this retrieval to return what's been stolen from you, you promise to return what you've stolen, and never to return and steal again? Precisely. All right, then. And a story. Not so fast. You'll be taking one of my men with you. Who? Of unlikely friendship! Sup, partner? You know what, Blue? I'm starting to think this might just work. I'm thinking this would work a lot better if we could get a bigger ride. You know, more chicks. Son, what are you gonna do with more than one woman? Hey, you know what they say. Women are like Voltron. The more you hook up, the better it gets. Oh. <laughs> oh, you kids and your diseases. <laughs> this summer, watch as two heroes fight for their lives. So, you got a girl? You can, uh, you can say that. And fight for love. You know, I've always thought fondly of you, Lopez. I just never knew how to say it. Because I don't speak Spanish. But love will have to wait. Because first, they'll have to save Christmas! Whoa! The Warthog! It's flying! Of course it is, son! All we had to do was believe! Save Christmas from what, you may ask? Life-threatening disease. <coughs> I'm sick, Sarge. They say I only have six months to live. Damn it, partner! What is it? Cancer? AIDS? Whatever it is, we can beat it. Together. No, it's... Being a zombie! Dunker! No! It's the violent, blood-curdling horror that will sweep the nation. Build monsters. Coming of age tale! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Giant fighting robots! Put the cube inside of Freckle! And musical numbers for the whole family. So let me blow you. No matter what you do this summer, be sure not to miss Sarge 2, Sarge Harder. You know, I'm getting too old for this shit. How old are you? 29. Wait, what? So, what do y'all think? Well, I thought it was great.